Fred, I need you. Ah, what to wear? Too flashy. Mm, too stuffy. Eh, too formal. Too retro. Oh, nuts. It's not Alfred, Mr. West. It's Jerry. Alfred was the guy on the TV show. There's a charity event at the car museum tonight. It seems I'm expected. Oh, a little last minute, isn't it? Charity doesn't punch a clock, my friend. I guess you'll be needing your tuxedo. No, I think something a bit more in keeping with the time, something not as formal, something Clooney-ish. I have just the thing. And it's loaded and ready to go. <sighs> you know, I'll never get used to that. A nostalgic nod to that series you used to do? Oh, no. It was there when I bought the house. I, I did add the sign, however. Nice touch. That'll be all. Thank you, Alfred. Jerry. Jerry. Never does anything the easy way. You'll need these. I took the stairs. They're stairs? I'll show you sometime. Mm -hmm. We're thrilled to have you here, but there's been some mistake. We didn't invite you. This is a private evening for the museum sponsors. So, uh, who put this invitation to my door tonight? I love your show, though, Robin. Do you mind if I call you Robin? Actually, I'd prefer my real name. Uh, that was only a character oh, I Boy, have. wonder, then. Close. Dick Grayson. It's Bert. Bert Ward. Well. Hello. Next, I suppose you'll tell me this isn't my favorite superhero. Hello. I'm Adam West. Just go with it. Well, we're thrilled to have you both here. I have an announcement to make. Please do stay. You got an invitation, too, I see, old chum. Yeah, but mine was bogus. I'm not on the guest list. Odd. Very, very odd. Attention. May I have your attention, please? As you know, tomorrow this exhibit opens to the public and dozens of lucky orphans. But tonight, it's just <laughs> for us. Some of the rarest cars in the world, including a special treat. One of the most famous cars ever. Whoa. The Batmobile. The classic Batmobile, designed by George Barris for the television series, not to be confused with the movie version. This can't be a coincidence. Is it all right to sit in it, just for old time's sake? Oh, of course, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is a surprise visit from the actors who play the dynamic duo, Adam West and Burt Ward. <laughs> wow, you know, it seems like almost yesterday. Almost 35 years, Burt. 
time tumbles by. You know, I forget what some of these buttons do. I wouldn't touch those if I were... Sorry, I didn't know it was loaded. That's why they usually left the driving to me. Let's get out before more damage is done. Did you know I kept a key? Sort of a souvenir. Really? But who would have known that? I would. And it's just what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Someone get the lights! The Batmobile's been stolen. Using my key. Holy tire tracks, look! They go from two to one. It went out on two wheels. That fiend. He may be a fiend, but he's an excellent driver. We have to call the police. Does anyone have a cell phone? No time for that. This is a job for actors. We'll find the Batmobile. Us? We wouldn't even know where to start. Perhaps there. An elephant. I always do this. What's that supposed to mean? What does an elephant always do? Anyone? We'll have to solve the puzzle on the way. Come on, Bert. Adam, you're crazy. Thanks. We'll take my car. It's already been established. Hey, if you're looking for the Batmobile, it went that way. You have a sharp eye, my friend. Did the driver say anything? He has directions. Highway to Arizona. Arizona? That could take till dawn. Those orphans are counting on us, Bert. You want to be the one to look in their sad little eyes tomorrow and tell them there's no Batmobile? You're right. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, tip the man, will you? Thanks, chum. Mm. Thank you. The thief must have known one of us had that key to the battle. No question. We were obviously lured to the museum tonight for exactly that reason. And now he's leading us on, taunting us with this, this mind-bending puzzle. Oh, the thrill of the chase. I've got it! What does an elephant always do? An elephant always never forgets. He always never forgets? The only possible solution. Someone's trying to get us to remember. The answer to this mystery in the present is hidden somewhere in our past. Then we have to dig it out. Every detail, how it ended, how it all began. Uh, just don't talk about the monkey. We have to talk about everything. You had that TV show in Hawaii when you were still Billy West Anderson. You mean when I took over the Kini Popo show? Yes, you and Peaches. <laughs> oh, that's too far back. Fair warning, my friend. If we have to remember that, then we have to remember what you were doing before our series started. I was in real estate. Okay, so I wasn't setting the sales world on fire, but my wife and I had a place at the beach. Sort of. Hey, I found a couple more. That should do it, don't you think? Well, looks like enough to buy dinner anyway. Guess we're not starving. See? You proved my father wrong already. Yeah, one meal a day. Baked potato and chicken wings is not exactly how I pictured our life. That'll change. You know, all you have to do is sell another house until your acting career takes off. Well, until it starts. Oh my, I sold two houses in two years, $800. It's not enough to make ends meet. You could get a job as a movie extra. Mm, it'd be twice as hard to get speaking roles. I want people to take me seriously. If I'm gonna be an actor, I gotta do it right. Well, you can't just wait around for the phone to ring. <laughs> oh, I said this was a serious crime fighter. 
completely serious, Lou. I mean, that's what makes the comedy work. He, he doesn't know he's funny. And he, uh, dances, you said? Yeah, yeah, I, I've got an idea to call it the, the Batusi. It's sort of like the Watusi, only... Adam, look at anybody who's ever gotten into a costume. Uh, George Reeves is Superman, Clayton Moore is the Lone Ranger. They couldn't get arrested after that. I'll take my chances because I love this script. Just be a good agent, okay? Talk to this producer and get me the part. Yes, sir? Send him in. <laughs> Mr. Dozier, we'll see you now. The network saw some commercials that Adam did, some James Bond spoof for a kid's drink. Very clever. Yeah, well, then you know, my client's got some serious heat behind him lately. I mean, the Perry Mason, Maverick, TV, movies, the detective series. I mean, he's worked with Steve McQueen, with Peter Fonda. Hey, you saw Robinson Crusoe on Mars, right? You don't have to sell me on Adam. I saw it. I loved it. Yeah, the guy is talent. And he's up for a big Western right now. So if uh, he's going to turn that down, i got to let them know this afternoon. So. The question is, can he do the line straight? He can do anything. Trust me. Bert Gervis, Jr.? Mm -hmm. Uh, if I... It's to meet with, um... This guy, right here. Oh. He's a casting director. Through the gate to the right. Open up a Mr. Olivier. Sorry. Right. Might need a push. But I got it. <laughs> This is your resume? There's not a lot here. Actually, there's uh, nothing here. Yeah, I really didn't know what to list. Uh, I, I have special skills. I mean, uh, I can ice skate. Uh, I've been skating in shows since I was two, world's youngest professional ice skater. Uh, yeah. I have a black belt in Taekwondo. I can break boards with my bare hands. Uh, bricks, too, in fact. Uh, uh, anything like... else? Hello, casting. I can read 30,000 words per minute. Not a lot of call for that. So, I imagine that you've been playing parts between, what, uh, 15 and 17? Sure. You know, you're kind of big for this part. Are you sure you're uh, not going to grow anymore? Oh, I promise you, sir, I won't grow anymore. Let's get some film on you. See what the camera thinks. Yeah, now. Yeah. Um, is this a, a period show? What, with the tights and all? You, you don't even know what you're testing for? How long have you been in this business? Uh, well, uh, truth is... Yeah? Uh, this is my first audition. Ever? F for anything? Is this a problem? Just, uh, show us some of that stuff that you told me about. You know, the martial arts thing. Right. Okay, let's, let's do it. Uh, yeah. Bert Jervis, Jr. You might think about changing that. Robin, audition. Uh, Robin? Uh, hold the role. Yeah, ba Batman sidekick. You know, the comic book character? Oh, you're kidding. I used to pretend I was Superboy when I was three. I'd be speeding around on my tricycle. I'm perfect for this. Let's, um, let's let the producers and the network decide that, okay? You just do your thing. Okay, roll. Bert Jervis, Jr. Okay, uh, first I'm gonna do a couple of tumbling falls, a shoulder roll, and then a throw. And then if you want, I'll break a few boards. Great.
Was that a screen test or a circus act? Look, what does any of this have to do with finding the Batmobile? And wait a minute, isn't that my water? I think the clue is in our past somewhere. What's this? We still have to find it. Hey, Adam, look. The highway to Arizona bars having a happy hour. Great place. Just down the street from the car museum. You knew about that place? Yeah, why? What? Oh! When did we first meet? The first day of shooting? It was at our spring test. No, I'd already signed the contract. It was just to see if we had the right chemistry. <laughs> yeah, right. But we had to give the network a choice. Remember the other Batman? Lyle Wagner from The Carol Burnett Show. Bob, I have been giving a lot of thought to my characterization. This isn't, it's not just a comic book character. He needs some... Um, he needs a point of view, an attitude. Well, he has an attitude. He hates crime. And for good reason. He saw his parents killed during a robbery. I I've done my homework on this. I've watched all the old movie serials. I uh, read The Scarlet Pimpernel and Scaramouche. And because? Uh, because they're about characters with dual identities, like Batman. I have so many great ideas yeah, for this. That's terrific, Adam. But today, we just want to see how you and this new kid are as a team. All right? Bert, over here. This is Adam West. He'll be playing Bruce Wayne in the scene with you. Adam, Bert Jervis. That's uh, Bert Ward now. See, uh, Ward's my mother's maiden name. And uh, Bert with a U instead of an E. Just to look stronger. Certainly an improvement. I have goosebumps. <laughs> Why don't we take some time and uh, discuss our approaches to the role? Well, I just plan on saying my lines. Is there more to it than that? Um, well, maybe a little. Okay, can we do this, people? Network's waiting. And when our good housekeeper, poor Mrs. Cooper, when she finds out what you've been doing on these supposed fishing trips of ours, I'm afraid the blow would kill her. What is it that no one wants to have, yet no one wants to lose? When is the time of a clock like the whistle of a train? Let's see, 222 Glover Avenue. That's a new discotheque. Well, it could be. It's a favorite haunt for high society. This is which one? I just hope we're Lyle not Wagoner. Minute, and the other one was? Adam West. If you want my opinion, Lyle's good. You know, but Adam's the logical choice. The more heroic look, that square jaw, no arguments, Bill. And that Ward kid was good, too. Whatever you network boys say, Adam West and Burt Ward it is. Oh, oh my God, it's amazing. It's, <laughs> it's like the comic book come to life. You can, everything's labeled. <laughs> That's really funny. That oscilloscope, that computer, it's, it's exactly right. <laughs> Is this ours? Is this the Batcave? It's great seeing a dream come to life, isn't it? Starting something new. <laughs> Especially something like this, something nobody's seen before. That's why I wanted to do it. I can't believe I'm really a part of this. <laughs> We have plenty of work ahead of us. We'll be on the air twice a week, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Twice a week. With cliffhanger endings to bring the audience back. Like I said, we're giving them something different. Uh, I only hope they're ready for it. Let's make it official, guys. Batman, meet Robin. <laughs> Hold it. Freeze frame that memory. We weren't alone that day. You're right, Adam. There was someone else there, someone lurking in the shadows. Good guys don't lurk. And I'm willing to bet that whoever it was is the same guy we're looking for today. But who could that be? Oh. And will Adam and Bert be able to find him and the missing Batmobile before it's too late? Stay tuned. Did you hear that? Hear what? Just an echo from the past, old chum. Just an echo from the past.
three blocks from the museum. It only took us 14 hours. Uh. Not very crowded, but it's early yet. Mm. They're all looking at us. Nice to know that we still have fans everywhere. How you doing, men? Yes, it's us. If you leave your names and addresses with the bartender, we'll send you pictures. Order me something wet, will you? It's been a long ride, and the bat room is calling. Chum. What'll you have? A shot of information, my friend. Two club sodas, neat, extra ice, one with a cherry. Think you and your friend can handle that? That and more. Sounds like a challenge, mister. The name's Arizona, same as the bar. And you? I'm just a man looking for a Batmobile. And I'm just a woman looking for a dance. There's no music. <laughs> Was you, Mr. Webb. What gave me away? Only one man can dance like that. Tell me, I always wondered what was really in that utility belt of yours. Anything I might need at any time. But that's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> Uh, toying with me. Uh -uh. That Catwoman toyed with Batman on that television show of yours. The most sensuously seductive pussycat that ever prowled the airwaves. You say that as if it was a bad thing. And I think that she was perfectly fascinating. Tell me. Tell me what you know about the Batmobile. Well... That's for me to know. You to find out. Hey, cut that out. Something's very suspicious. I gotta think quick. The drink is waiting. drink trip, but they can't stop me because I'm strapped with skill. We got 500 horses in the Batmobile. Back way out the back. That'll be five bucks. That vivacious vixen reminds me of someone I can't quite put my finger on. Who are you talking about? Mm. Mm. Apparently, a beautiful mirage. Adam, look! That was our first day of shooting in Bronson Canyon. Possibly a clue to this mystery. Hello. Need any help with the outfit, Mr. West? I'll have one. Putting on the costume is half of putting on the character. <laughs> Thanks. Your mask, t-shirt, vest, cape, trunks, tights, and boots. Let us know if you need any help. I'll be back. I'm a B-A-D, B-A-T, superhero getting ready for the world to see yeah. Like warriors putting on a battle gear, burning out of here, stopping crime in your yeah. fear, Never born you, just born you, whenever we dress for success, bad guys call the coroner Feeling fit that he call me Mr. Burn, all the ladies go crazy when we twist and turn Watch out, you're grimy and gritty, we gonna run you up out of Gotham City B-A-T, rolling with the boy Wonder, feeling out here, we're gonna take you under Watch out, you're grimy and gritty, gonna run you up out of Gotham Got fans from here to Colorado. Step to take off like a rocket in a box. Dynamic duo, crime fights our motto. Rolling through Gotham's top, building and chilling. 
a man behind a mask with a task to squat building. Step with authority, protect the majority. Can't who say the top priority. Watch out. Really doing this? Hello, chum. Kate Crusader. <laughs> I can't see with this mask on. There's no peripheral vision at all, not even up or down. But I can use that. This character should be a little stiff anyway. Uh, are your tights tight? They're so thick again. Barely bend my knees and I itch. And who wears underwear on the outside? We do, my friend. We put on our tights to put on the world. Yeah, well, these shorts are a little snug. You know, this cape pulls on my neck, and this mask makes my ears stick out like Dumbo. Perfect. Hey, Bert. I'm Sam, first AD. AD? Uh, assistant director. <laughs> I heard you were new. I just didn't realize how new. We're ready for you. OK. Oh, OK, OK, then. Relax. You'll do great. Wow. Is this the Batmobile? It's a 55 Lincoln Futura concept car that George Barris adapted for us. Go ahead and get the car. OK. In this shot, you and Batman speed out of the Batcave toward camera and make a sharp turn off to your left. Any questions? Seems easy enough. Great. Batman! That's not Adam. No, that's a stunt double. So, um, you're a stuntman. Um, is your work ever, uh, dangerous? Almost always, if you do it right. Okay, first position. Uh, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. What's the problem? Uh, I'm sorry. I was just wondering, uh, since Adam has a stuntman, shouldn't I have one? Oh, you do? Yeah, he's, uh, he's over there. The one drinking coffee with Adam. Oh. Uh, how come he's not in the shot? Because when the car makes the turn, you'll be facing camera. The audience will know if it's not you. Places! Something. Hold on to what? Action! No, 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 wait, stop, stop, stop! And you dislocated your finger. How? <sighs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Anyway, tomorrow's another day, right? <laughs> Bert Ward, Frank Gorshin. He'll be playing the Riddler for us. Big fan of your work, Mr. Gorshin. Your impression of Kirk Douglas cracks me up. And uh, Ed Sullivan. All right, uh, you're a really big shoe. <laughs> you know, kid, stars of this show should really be the villains. I mean, you got some great ones. Well, like the Riddler, for instance. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> OK, here's the shot. This is where Robin narrowly escapes the car explosion. Explosion? Action. Oh, oh. Uh, I got burns everywhere. I uh, see that. Your arms, your neck. Uh, uh, and I mean uh. everywhere. Hey. Batman is supposed to blast his way in through that wall to save you, but nobody thought to build a breakaway set. Well, then how else are you going to get through? We're talking about setting a small charge. Wait, they're gonna they're gonna blow that wall with me tied up here? Let them worry about it. It's not our problem. What's not your problem, mate? Okay, I think we've got this worked out. And it's a dynamite solution. <laughs> Did he just say dynamite? He didn't mean actual dynamite. <laughs> well, actually, yes, he did. Adam, we need you to move back. 
Uh, Adam? This may become my show after all. Guys, <laughs> Three, two, one! Three days in a row? If I were you, I'd consider a new line of work. I always thought you made too much of those mishaps. He was always accident prone around fire and electricity. I mean, his nickname was Sparky. Enough said? But that's why you got the big bucks, right? You must have made a fortune back then. I got paid weekly, very weekly, only three fifty a week. At least you made it through that first week alive. Mm, barely. <laughs> Life wasn't exactly a day at the beach for me. Either. How do you feel about your dad playing Batman? I think it's cool. Do you get to fly? <laughs> no, son. Batman doesn't fly. Batman swings on bat ropes. He has a cool car, though. I'll give you a ride sometime. Is he married? No, honey, he's not. Is he divorced? Like your mom? He's just too busy crime fighting to get married. Doesn't he get lonely? Kids! I think that's enough sun for one day! Let's go. So your father has an early call at the studio. He's playing a superhero. That's what we call typecasting. So how's the show going, Adam? I love the work. I know, it always comes first. No, it doesn't. You have plans to watch the television premiere tomorrow night? You're welcome to come over. I'm gonna fix a steak here. You know how I get. See you guys later. Okay, okay. bye. bye. I had reason to be nervous. I mean, that test screening, the audience didn't know what to make of it. Worst test scores in television history. Well, so how'd that first show do? Uh, was it a hit right away? <laughs> That'll have to wait till after the commercial, my friend. <laughs> I can feel you that's our currency. Holy henchman, Adam. And this only confirms my suspicions. We'll be back, but faced with such villainy, will Adam and Bert? You really don't hear that? <sighs> Stay tuned. say we fight our way out like we always did. We had stuntmen then, even if mine was always on a coffee break.
sorry about the damage. Justice can be a messy business. What do we owe you? A uh, couple hundred cover it. Mm. Or... Just relax. Ow. Ow. Oh. <laughs> to my clock. Here you go. Holy parking violations! We need that car! She's just a good citizen doing her job, like Commissioner Gordon and Police Chief O'Hara. Wait a minute. This isn't a ticket. I mean, it is a ticket, just not the sort we were expecting. It's a ticket to a movie theater, the Vista. Apparently, that's our next stop. We haven't got a car. How do we get there? Never underestimate the power of public transportation. But we'll need the correct change, Bert. To the Vista Theater as quickly as possible, please. I've got a feeling the show's about to start. Stay tuned for the exciting new adventures of Batman, the Cape Crusader, and Robin, the Boy Wonder. Uh, do you really think anybody else is going to watch this but us? No, no, no. It's, we're not camp. It's uh, a farce, a lampoon, a social satire with an Oscar Wilde flavor. My brother says your show is number one. Is that true? Well, as long as we're number one with fans like you, we've done our job. Here you go, pal. Thanks. Can I get an autograph, too? You know, this is a uh, permanent marker. Good. I hope it lasts forever. figure out all that stuff before Batman does? Uh, well, because the, uh, Boy Wonder is, uh, super smart. <laughs> this is getting a little scary. Time for us to get lost. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> This phrase here in Latin, any idea what it means? Art, nonsense, and money. Kind of a private joke around wardrobe. <laughs> Great. That's funny, Jen. So she thanks you when you give her a kiss? Uh, I have to kiss her? Is that okay with you? It's just a kiss, Bert. Give me a second. Strong. You have no reason to be jealous. Married people don't kiss other people. I'm only acting. I don't care. I don't want you to do it. I am holding up production. Anyone see Bert? It has nothing to do with us. It's my work. Why can't you see that? I hear the stories about Adam and all those women. The, the fans, the co-stars. Adam's Adam. He's single. He's not me. It, you have no reason to be jealous. How many times do I have to tell you that? And how long before that changes? Do what you want. Let's do it. Okay, team, this will be picture. Roll camera. Roll camera. Scene five, take one. Action. Cut, print it. That was perfect. Let's do one more just in case. What did you say? Action. 
I do love her. I just, you know, we were so young and want to get away from home. Still so much we haven't experienced. Now she's the first girl I ever dated. It takes a while to know what you really want. I'm still learning that myself. What if I can't make it work? And what if we're not meant to be together? People divorce. It's sad and it's difficult, but it is not the end of the world. See you later. Well, aren't you lonely sometimes? Did you ever miss being married? As a matter of fact, yeah. Yeah, I do. Well, it's never too late to fix that, you know. Your good china, my favorite flowers. You want something? It's just dinner. Oh, Adam, we've been through this. Would it hurt to talk? We made the right decision a long time ago. We're just friends. What if I want more? What if I'm, I'm tired of coming home alone to this place every night? Well, something tells me you're not alone all that much. Don't believe everything you read. I know you too well, Adam. You want this now, tomorrow you want something else or someone else. That's just how you are. I'm afraid that's how you always be. So where does that leave us? With a great dinner that shouldn't go to waste. <laughs> Thank you. Holy skyscrapers, Batman. How come the villains are always so high above us? Just remember, the higher they rise, the harder they'll fall. Could you hold it down? People are trying to sleep in here. Sorry to disturb you, citizen. We'll tread lightly in the future. All night long, people going up and down the walls. It's enough to drive you batty. We can tiptoe from here, Boy Wonder. Cut, that's a print. Oh, hey, Bert. Uh, listen, your uh, wife just uh, dropped some things off for you. See, you know, you might want to think of putting a little aside. No job lasts forever. Well, I've never had money before. Might as well enjoy it while I can. Is that wine? You know I don't... Sparkling cider. Just a little something to say good luck in the new place. Thanks. I'm sorry, I don't have any glasses yet. Bonnie pretty much got everything. I know. I know. Your divorce made headlines today. Half a million for a year of marriage? That's quite a settlement. I don't really care about the money. Our personal appearance is bringing enough in. I just... I hope I made the right decision. You just gotta give it some time, Bert. And live every day like it was your last. <laughs> and enjoy life. You're them, aren't you? I told you it was them! So, what are you doing here in Malibu? We're, uh... working undercover. Try to keep it quiet. <laughs> We're your biggest fans. Biggest? Really? <laughs> I 
guess you just might be. <laughs> this is where you get off. Where did everybody go? They got off uh, just before the divorce. This is our stop. <laughs> Great Caesar's ghost, it's us. The cold trail has turned hot again, but will it get too hot for Adam and Bert? Okay, now that I heard. Stay tuned. Strange. The doors were open, but there's no show today. What does that tell you? Floppy security staff. That. Or mischief is afoot. Move with caution, my friend. Empty. Whatever we're looking for, it doesn't seem to be here. And yes, someone lured us here for a reason. We seem to be guests at a private screening. A screening with refreshments. But they may have been tampered with. Highly doubtful, Bert. Someone went to a lot of trouble for us to see this picture. Well... <laughs> Why are you sniveling, Sardine? Are you pompous, puffed up penguin? Your friends make peace. Have a shake on me. <laughs> Ooh, a joke a day keeps the gloom away. It really is our movie. The one we made after the first season wrapped. Two days after the first season. Someone's forcing us to relive our past. But to what dark end? Oh, I really couldn't say, sir. Popcorn? You have heard my Real butter? What do you say? Real butter? Uh-uh. Time is getting short. We've got to get Batman before he gets us. How? I say it's crazy. But I say let's try it. We have to do something to get Batman out of the way. Must you be so impulsive? Oh! <laughs> The dynamic duo has been silenced forever. You notice anything strange about this picture, Bert? Does it seem abridged? Holy Screen Actors Guild, our credits are missing. Not only that, it's just the villains. We're not in it. Maybe it's the director's cut. Or possibly someone more nefarious has done the editing. Perfect red lap. Our mysterious Batmobile thief, perhaps? <laughs> Delicious. What are you gonna do about the mustache? I told the producers, I just my entire career and I'm not shaving it. You think the makeup will cover it? Mm -mm. I'm ready. What do you think? Does it work? <laughs> yeah, for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does, Caesar. It, it's exactly the spirit of the show. <laughs> so with all the great films you've done, you don't mind doing this TV comic book? Mine? Look at me. What could be better than having women smile at you and kids shrink away from you? It's the best of both worlds. Uh, seriously, people think the Penguin's a cartoon, but I tell you, it's one of the hardest roles I've ever played. Why is that, Mr. Meredith? This cigarette holder, for one. 
I haven't smoked in 25 years. It irritates my throat. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good penguin sound there. I kind of like it myself. Maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> I've learned that every prop has a silver lining. You must have found that out, too. Oh, considering all the contraptions you boys deal with. <laughs> well, we have our share. Let's see. That transmitter. Bad cuffs. Bad compass. Batarang. Bat laser. This, I believe, is the shucker pellet. Bat pellets. Bat probe. Don't ask. And the bat bomb. There's more. No, like... no, I get the idea. <laughs> I only have a few such gadgets, but they're a headache sometimes. Look at this. These trick umbrellas seem to go off too early, or too late, or not at all. See? Nothing. Maybe Mickey Rooney was smart to turn this part down. <laughs> Write this. The script is brilliant the way it is. Well, we're not talking about a major change, Julie. Just the idea that she falls in love with Batman. I'll do it however you want, but I really think it's a big mistake. Catwoman is... Well, she's just... She's wicked. There's no room for love in her life. She teases him. She leads him on. She's a cat. She purrs. But she has claws. She nuzzles. But she bites. And she knows that this is the one way to get to Batman. Through his suppressed emotions. It's a sensual approach, like a dancer. The way she moves, the way she tempts him. But she never loses her heart. And she never ever sleeps with him. Never? See what I mean? Maybe, maybe she should try tempting Robin, too. <laughs> Adam, is that okay with you? She certainly causes curious stirrings in my utility belt. <laughs> so, where were we? I don't mean to interrupt your train of thought, but could you pass me a napkin? Adam, I've got butter everywhere here. Mexico City. Our mysterious friend hasn't covered his tracks as well as he may have thought. We have to go to Mexico? No, we're not gonna fall for that twice. There's a restaurant called Mexico City, a short walk across town. But what about the rest of the villains? If there's a clue hidden in one of their stories. We can think about it on the way. Come on. Well, Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson, Batman can't save you now. <laughs> Cut! Oh. That was great, Mr. Price. Last shot for the day. Uh. Uh, Vincent! Hey, oh. You can stop now. You can stop. Well, I still have ammunition? Never! Hey, hey! I think playing Egghead has gone to your head. Yeah. Oh, you do, do you? Take that. Oh. No. Oh. And that. <laughs> Goodbye. Exactly. Oh, yeah? Could anything be more exciting? Anything else I can get you, uh, boys? Not at the moment, thank you. Mm -hmm. Eat up, friend. It's on me. Oh, well. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Uh, but I'll get the tip. Careful, Bert. Keen detective work has led us here. But we can't let our guard down for a moment. Holy lunch specials! Look at this. 
appears to be a menu, Bert. Not an unusual thing in a place like this. But look what's on the menu, or rather, who? A Burgess burger, Gorshin Franks and beans, Caesar Romero salad, Vincent fries. They even have drinks. Look, a Julie New Martini. Art Chili Con Carne, Zsa Zsa Gabor, Liberace. All these people disguised as daily specials. Almost every actor who played a villain, our characters battled. Battled? Yes. And triumphed over. Any one of them could still be harboring a grudge. Adam, they're only actors. I'm sure they'd like us to think so, Bert. But there's more here than meets the eye. Very odd. What's that? It's time for an act break. But that voice is strangely absent. He must be on a break. Possibly. But now that he's not here, I miss him. <laughs> What if the thief only wants us to believe it's one of our former cohorts? When it's really, it's... who? Oh, indeed, Bert. As charming and well-loved as we've always been, who would have a problem with us? Everybody's got a problem with us. The censors are all over this show. Well, why should we care? The public loves us. But because the censors could close us down. There's enough sexual innuendo as it stands without your embellishments. You have to stick to the script. <laughs> we do it word for word. Okay. Except for the occasional ad lib. You work it in so there's no way for us to edit it out. Years of experience. All these uh, stirrings and your utility belt and you want to touch my bat and, and Dick's thrust into manhood. You're not blameless in this either, Bert. Well, look, everybody gets something different from the show. You know, the kids get the jokes and the action and the adults, well, they get the show on the whole other level. And then there's the National Safety Council. What could we have done to upset them? You're not wearing seatbelts. In the Batmobile? <laughs> Tell them the car has modern safety features that make the seatbelts unnecessary. A nice line for the reporters. But I'm thinking it'd be great if these two superheroes take the time to buckle up before they speed off. <laughs> You're right, that could be funny. But there's one complaint I'm not sure how to handle. And it's yours, Bert. Me? What did I do? It's not about what you do, it's more about well, your costume. My costume? The trunks fit like they're supposed to. Superheroes wear tight clothes. Cuts wind resistance. Tell that to the Catholic Legion of Decency. But they don't like how I fit my trunks? Is that all you? At ease? We've tried just about everything. Every kind of restraint we can think of. We've tucked and pulled and, well, we're out of ideas. I can't help how I'm built. True. But if the costume can't hide it, we'll have to look at other solutions. Like? Have you tried ice packs? They didn't help. Yeah, and I have the freezer burns to prove it. It's just me. You're short of surgery. Don't even think about it. Can't you just shoot him from the waist up? He's an action hero. We need the whole actor. As a last resort, you can try these. Take um, one of these every two hours while you're filming. It should solve the situation. It's a temporary fix. Well, I hope it's temporary. What is it? Don't ask, as long as it works. Good. I can't read. Looks good from here. What about through the lens? I'll check. for this episode, and that is it. You don't even know what they are? No, nobody will tell me. I'm afraid they might work a little too well, and this becomes a permanent thing. 
Do what I do in the tights. Use your cape for cover when you have to. You have a bigger cape than I do. I need it. And when you grow up, you can have a big cape, too. Wow. Whoever thought the legion of decency would be breathing down our necks? It's bad enough we have that other problem. Other problem? So, you and Robin are gay, I hear. <laughs> We're what? Gay. Batman and the kid, you know, have a special relationship. <laughs> it's been going around since the 30s. It's such nonsense. Well, not according to this Dr. Wortham guy. He made a big deal of it in the Senate, and you gotta admit, it looks fishy. <laughs> They're just comic book characters, Frank. You're making too much of it. Well, it's not me. I'm not making up anything. Look, you're this older, unmarried guy who takes in this naive teenage kid as your ward. But you don't adopt him, and there is not a female figure in the house. There's, there's Aunt Harriet, and she'd never allow such a thing. No, well, maybe not, if she knew. But you, too, keep her in the dark about your secret lives, right? And Bruce and Dick almost never date girls. Not to mention the whole strange uniform thing you share. And don't get me started on the bat poles. Wrap your legs around that and slide into my bat cave. <laughs> Face it, you have a strange and unnatural relationship. I just, I don't see what's so strange and unnatural about two guys who run around in tights and live together. <laughs> Isn't that Adam West? I think so. Oh. <laughs> you know, you might have a perfect opportunity to put those rumors to rest tonight. <laughs> Fame is an aphrodisiac, my friend. Enjoy it while you can. I tell you, I'm like a kid in a candy store. By day, I'm human and harmless. At night, I turn into a sexual vampire, like a hungry shark in a world of unlimited halibut. Vampires and sharks? You date halibut? Where do you come up with this stuff? Oh, come on. Like, you don't think that way? All the women you date? Jill St. John, Kel Welch, Natalie Wood, Leslie Ann Warren. I think you're a little new at all this. Here she comes. Marty. Another halibut. <laughs> <laughs> That was incredible. Oh, I've been watching you work all week. You're good on the show. But you're even better off it. Can we just lie here till the sun comes up? You know, as great as that sounds, I have to go. You can't. Uh, <laughs> well, I hate to, but uh, I really call. So do you. But, hey, thanks for a great night. You really shouldn't do this, you know. You shouldn't leave. funny last night. Didn't you think it was funny? Yeah, it's uh, really funny. It must have been how Tony Perkins felt in Psycho. What a rush. Let's do it again soon, okay?
Him and Catwoman as kittens. None of this is getting us any closer to finding the Batmobile. Did I hear you boys say something about a Batmobile? Why? What do you know about a Batmobile? Well, there was one parked right across the street not ten minutes ago. Maybe we can still follow the bill. Oh, please. It's on me. You were right. It was permanent. It never did come off. Uh, Bert, the tip. She works hard for the money. Oh. The, the trail's as cold as Mr. Frosty's underwear. Wait, right there. Oil from the Batmobile. It looks like they're leaving us a trail. On purpose. All we have to do is follow the arrows. Oh, no man on foot is a match for the Batmobile. But we can sure give it a try. As the mysteries pile up, the clock ticks down. Will the orphans have to be content with the car from the monsters? We'll be back. Whoever he is, I just wish he had a bit more faith in us. computer animation studio. Visual oh. effects for movies and television. You? Beautiful home in Idaho. Endless blue skies, clear waters. Wonderful wife and family. A herd of Great Danes everywhere you look. Uh, it, it's an animal rescue thing. My wife's into that. Oh, same here. I don't mean the Great Danes, but I got a terrific wife. 30 years of marriage. Kids. Oh, life is good, Bert. Life is good. Well, I guess that just about takes care of the whatever happened to a business, huh? I think so. Um, back to the chase. Back to the chase. Oh, that reminds me. That time in New York when we were promoting a Batman movie. That's right. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we spent the night with Batman. <laughs> oh. So with you here, who's guarding Gotham City? Commissioner Gordon and Chief O'Hara. But the only crime is right here. Well, I don't mind doing hard time. <laughs> oh. Oh, God, I forgot. I've got the, uh, the press here in an hour, and I've got to get ready. Why don't you two gorgeous ladies throw a little something on, and I will call down for coffee. Ooh. Adam! Please don't tell me you forgot about the press conference this morning. I thought your message said 10 o'clock. Folks, I'd um, I'd like you to meet uh, Lucy and uh, Ethel. <laughs> Has anybody seen my bat suit? <laughs> if the bat computer's correct, then there's a good chance that felonious fiend. King Tut has his sights set on the new exhibit at the museum He's doing of... it again. What? If you ever finish that sentence, it won't be enough time to get to the end of the scene. Uh, you see what he's doing, right? I'm not crazy. Could somebody please clue me in? You're talking slowly, on purpose, so you could have more screens. I'm talking 
bat speak to exaggerate the absurdity of the moment. And you know that's another thing? Every time it's my turn to talk, you always interrupt. I do not. You just did it again. You're always doing that. You're always stretching your dialogue out and cutting mine in half. It's called pacing, Bert. At least Robin gets to solve all the puzzles in this show. Well, that's because I play the boy wonder, not the boy wondering. It's what I bring to the team. <sighs> Sidekick troubles again. Might as well take five. Okay, let's take a break. Uh, back in five. Uh, you know, as long as we're going at it, let's talk about this cape. <laughs> My cape? Yeah, you're always flapping around in scenes and blocking me from the camera. It's the way the character moves, Bert. And if you can't find a way to stay on camera, that's really not my concern. Hey, Bert, we're ready on the set. Is Adam out there yet? I'm just about to get it. Well, I'll come out to the set when he's there, not before. Adam, we're ready for you. Is Bert there yet? I just told him we're ready. But is he there yet? Well, no, but I just told him, so... Let me know when he decides to come out. This is getting out of hand. I mean, it started with Bert running a little late, but now neither of them will show up first. Here's what we do. Sam, we have to move their dressing room so they're facing one another. Then when you're ready on the stage... Adam, Bert... Let's do it. Listen, you guys, you really have to cut this stuff out. I have enough trouble with the networks and the ratings, the deal with you two on top of all that. Well, what's the network saying? They want us to add something, some new element to keep the audience interested. How about better scripts? <laughs> How about we make the dynamic duo a tremendous trio? Oh, I didn't know anyone was watching. Don't let me stop here. You sure got the moves. Hi, I'm Yvonne. Craig. Adam. West. I know. And I've been warned. So, I hear you're not wild about this idea. Does Bert feel the same way? To be honest, we don't feel the show needs another character. Nothing personal. Maybe Backer will give women someone to identify with. Or at least some great curves to appeal to the men out there. I hear you're someone to watch out for. And now that I see you in person, I'm sure the stories are true. The wandering hands. Hey, we are totally professional around here. Are we close, Batman? The Joker should be right ahead of us. Step carefully now and follow my lead. Hold it. Oh. oh. Cut. Reset. <clears throat> Is there a problem? Where's your hand? It's on her shoulder. A little lower, Adam. A natural mistake, part of my character. <laughs> well, do you mind? Not at all. <laughs> Adam, look, there it is. The Batmobile. And the key's still in it. We've done it. Don't you find this suspiciously easy? <laughs> Quick, out of the car! Holy skullduggery! I can't! My door won't unlock! <clears throat> What's this? A booby trap Batmobile program to operate on its own? Where can it be taking our heroes? Wherever it is, it doesn't look good for Adam and Bert. Stay tuned.
Holy dead ends. I know it's impossible, but are we in someone's idea of our old cave set? The mystery continues. But given these camera angles, I say the enemy is close at hand. I've always wondered why the villains were filmed at such odd angles. Because they were crooked, old chum. Of course. We have almost all the clues. Think about how Batman ended before we meet an end of our own. Think like you've never thought before. Think! Well, the ratings fell off. Not even Yvonne Craig on her bat cycle in this skin-tight bat suit can save the day. -o. I can't believe we're getting canceled. Uh, it's not definite yet. And that works fine for another year. It's just the studio asking for some deep budget cuts. I should have taken that role in The Graduate when they offered it to me. I could be Dustin Hoffman today. <laughs> when was that? Last season. The network wouldn't let me out of the contract. Guy passed on James Bond? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bond, he really has to be British and to do another you know, sort of superhero. <sighs> Are we crazy? I mean, I must have spent a fortune. What if I never work again? Don't panic yet. It'll be months before a decision's made. Sad day for all of us. This is the last of it. It's hard to see it all come down. I heard another network might actually want to pick us up. Any chance of that? Uh, they came to the table too late. The cost of rebuilding all this is too high. And even if we could, the blueprints for the sets have disappeared. Souvenir hunters? Probably. But we had a respectable run. Three good seasons. Hey, we fought hard to make it a show we can be proud of. I was proud of our whole family. I only wish it could have lasted longer. Good luck to you, boys. Thank you. Sorry to see it end, Adam. It's television. Well, it's been good working with you, even if the villains never really got the respect they deserved. You'll have your day. <laughs> Count on it. You kept the key to the Batmobile, I see. Yeah, a little something to remember it by. So long, for now. <laughs> Those were plans in his car that day. Blueprints for the sets. We've entered the mind of a madman. My mind, and welcome to it. Alfred? Jerry! How many times do I have to tell you it's Jerry? The butler did it. We should have seen this coming a mile away. Diabolical. Even more than you think, Mr. West. Oh. <sighs> Holy plot twist! Your butler is Frank Gorshin? You've been planning this since that last day on the lot. All that time with the stolen blueprints and this is the best you can do? It was very complicated, all right? Even with help. Julie Newmar. Why didn't I recognize you in that Western costume? For the same reason people don't recognize Bruce Wayne as Batman. Good point. For years, you two have gotten the glory. While we actors who played the villains <laughs> suffered in silence. And who received an Emmy nomination for the acting in this series? Who me? That's who me. Where did it get me? Broadway, Vegas, movies, television, trading cards. Yeah, well, that's true. Focus, Frank. Focus. Will you go focus yourself? Mm. You're right. Focus. Now we've decided to reclaim what is rightfully ours, to lure you here to your doom. Precisely three minutes, this clock will set off the bomb to which you are helplessly attached at the moment. Frank, you're mad? You're damn right I am. No, I mean in the demented way. This isn't a real bomb. It's a cardboard prop. It won't explode. 
And you're not a villain, you're an actor. I can be an actor, I can be a villain, I can stretch, I have range. Infinitely so. And when the two of you gone, the next reunion movie will be ours. Now that's a better idea. A better idea for us. Bye-bye for you. <laughs> I'd rather not stick around for the fireworks. All that noise and oh. flying debris. How about a spin in the Batmobile? Frank, I'm warning you! Don't touch that red button! He knows whenever he tells me don't, I have to. I have to push that button. It's a trick. Don't push it. I have to. It's a character flaw. I have to. I have to. We've only got two minutes left. The movie will be over by then. Not to worry, old chap. I actually saved three souvenirs from the show that final day. The keys to the Batmobile, my old costume, and this. Holy prop department. Is that a relic of our old series? A Batarang? You have a knack for stating the obvious, Bert. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And I'll just use the sharp edge. <laughs> Thing that bomb was a fake. Ow! How come you didn't get burned? Stunt man. Dang! Help! Help! Look! Hold the ejection seats! It worked! Help! Get us down from here! Call the police. Have them pick those two up. Hello. Hello? It's dead. It's a prop, Bert. Use your cell phone. We've got a date with some orphans. Any more bright ideas? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hey, guys, all my dental push was enough of us to go around. <laughs> well, hello, foxy lady. You're a tall art and you up for adoption. Oh, some things never change. So all's well that ends well in a city that tears down its old buildings but treasures its old television series. A happy ending all around. Happy actors, happy children, happy audiences, happy network. And me, I'm Lyle Wagoner. And if I'd have played that part, we'd still be on the air. Or a villain disguised as an orphan. Should we call the police? Haven't they got enough on their plates? I've got the time, Bert. Why not? The thrill of the chase, my friend. The thrill of the chase. Tat, tat, man, Batman, twisting them all, always.
always on point when the commissioner call fit the fly when the bad signal lit the sky move meticulous stay in the shadow mystify can't crusaders got the regulators erasing the haters making it safer for the neighbors the joker still up to his same old tricks and cat woman still just the same old chick And cut.